Today, we're in Port Alberni, British Columbia. Small mill town, hardworking, blue collar town, beautiful landscape, mountains, water. This is the ocean, this is an inlet. And tonight we've come here because we are staying in a 1941 tugboat. This thing started its life off as a minesweeper in the US Navy, was uh, stationed briefly outside of Pearl Harbor, was eventually sold to a Canadian tugboat company and ran most of its life pulling logs and things up and down from Alaska. But eventually in 2013, it was bought and it was brought here and now we're staying in it. So I'm gonna bring you inside if you're new here, I'm Mike, the channel is Downey Live. It's an adventure travel channel. Since we can't travel internationally, since I'm from Vancouver, Canada, figured I'd show you some of my local British Columbia as the uh, local tourism has been allowed. Zooming in on the stunning Vancouver Island, the town of Port Alberni sits right at the center, at the end of a long inlet and nestled between mountains. Now docked at Harbor Quay, the tugboat is perfectly situated in the heart of downtown while still being surrounded by nature. If you're joining us for the first time, my friend Riley and I are traveling locally and exploring the province by motorcycle while staying in some unique Airbnbs in our provincial backyard, which brings us to the tugboat. Come on board with me. Let me, let me give you a tour of where we're staying. Watch your feet, but it's not very far. It looks bigger than it is. It was built as a minesweeper for the US Navy. They made eight of them in eight weeks, which is a crazy feat. So keep that in mind as you're going through you can imagine crew and kind of where they'd keep stuff maybe. Let's show you inside. First stop on board is the washroom, AKA the head when you're on a boat. Now no boat has a spacious washroom, but what this does have especially if you're a guy or pee standing up, is a pretty fantastic view. So our bedroom is in the back, come on down. As you know, boats usually limited on space, so everything's a little tight, but that's part of the fun. So we are in room 35. It is a bunk bedroom for Riley and I. Top bunk, bottom bunk. Let's put our motorcycle helmets over there. Mirror, hand towels, sink which is great, so morning or night, we don't need to go to the washroom, we'll wash our face, brush our teeth. We're kind of like set in this room. Best part is portholes. Love me a good porthole window, and our view is just out into the marina. Look at that, and the surrounding mountains. But the best part is access straight to the deck. This is down the side of the tugboat. Still a functioning tugboat. The, they run the engines about every three weeks and the generators. Uh, obviously, because it's docked here semi pr pretty permanently for the last few years, it's all, it's all plugged into the system here with the city, which is really nice. But it does run and they, they would book it out if you wanted to rent out the whole thing. So the lower level has four rooms just like ours. And the upper level has two larger state rooms, so there's a total of seven rooms. You stayed in the treehouse last week, and you didn't like that one. How's this so far? This one is definitely a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Yeah. I'm going to try and get 15 minutes of reading in. I've been using the Blinkist app. Blinkist is the sponsor of this video, so thank you Blinkist for being here. I am currently reading a book called Treasure Islands by Nicholas Shackson. It's all about tax havens and I'm not personally interested in learning how to hide my taxes and whatnot. Anyway, if you're not necessarily if you're looking into tax havens by any mean, but just looking for an interesting read, they have thousands of books. The nicest part is they take 15 minutes to digest. So if you are interested in reading and getting all of that good information, but in a short amount of time, this app does it for you. And they gave us a link, which I've put in the description down below to get a free seven day trial. So you can try out the full app, all of its abilities. And if you choose to stay on longer for the full membership, it gives you 25% off that as well, which is great. So you save a little bit of money, get all the features. And if you don't like the free trial, you can cancel at any time. So that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. We're about to have a little snack. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna make you a little 
Oh, wow. Now, I can't tell you about the Swept Away Inn without telling you about Dan and Bouchard. They didn't want to be on camera, but they are the hosts of the boat. Holy. Oh, wow. Pretty good beer, too. Oh, 11% beer. That looks good. But also run a Moroccan restaurant on the boat at night. Obviously, boat guests get priority, and you can imagine it's a number of international travelers sitting around telling stories. Unfortunately, wow. not tonight. I like that. And so the boat has seven rooms, sleeping two people per room. So you'll get 14 people staying on the boat. Usually it's fully booked. It's also a Moroccan restaurant. So this this boat is a rockin' you, most nights. <laughs> They were so wonderful that since filming this video and editing it now, I've actually sent my parents to stay there as well for their 40th wedding anniversary. Not because my parents like tugboats, but because I just knew they needed to experience the hospitality of Dan and Bouchard and they loved it. It's more than just an old tugboat. It is a whole, it's a whole Port Alberni experience. So if you live in BC and you have the opportunity to get over here to meet them, I highly, highly recommend it. Watch your step. We're uh, headed off the boat for a little bit. Gonna grab some dinner first, right before the sun sets. That's the, that's the front door to our hotel tonight. I can't stop smiling. Sure beats the tree house. Oh, he's still bitter over last week. <laughs> I, I still liked it. Dinner time, coming to the brand new brewery in town. We figured when you have the best view in town, why go eat somewhere else? Bring it back here. Riley and I are out on our evening stroll, stretch our legs, and we, we saw this lighthouse over here. So we thought we'd walk towards it, but we've actually come across the Maritime Heritage Gallery. And right out front, we were like, oh, this is a nice old boat. And then we both noticed it has a steam engine on it. And it's actually, how old? 126 years but I mean who knows when this sign was written so it could be older so at the writing of this sign <laughs> it was 126 years old that's pretty incredible in 1955 it was sunk by filling it with rocks and she just sat at the bottom of the lake for 50 years why I don't know weird being here when there's no one else here Normally the tugboat is fully booked out by international travelers and since no international travelers can come to Canada at the moment, it's empty. We are the first people staying on the tugboat this season and there isn't anyone else staying on it for another month. So if you like it and you're, and you're from BC, and you're looking to travel and you want to book it, you can. I'll link it down below. Should we head back and go see what it's like to sleep in a tugboat? Can't wait. What a clown. Home sweet home. It doesn't feel like we're on a boat. It doesn't, right? No. It no. just feels like we're in a very small hotel room. Yeah. Good night, Riley. <laughs> Is that why you're turning the main light on, Mike? Yeah. Riley's going to sleep. Wow. I'm still uploading footage, charging all the equipment. Just so you know what's going on here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I need my beauty sleep, clearly. All right. Good night. Good night. You too. Breakfast is served. Guest book is complete. Time to hit the road. There it is, the tugboat for our last time. Probably not ever. I think I will be back. It's such, it's such a unique experience. The harbor is so peaceful. There were seals out this morning. The view is incredible. The town is cute. The beer was good last night. I'll be back to the swept away inn. But for now, we are hopping back on the motorcycles. The day has just begun. We are off to our location for tonight, which is an alpaca farm. Start the montage. You see, 
While the tugboat is what got us out here, it's important to enjoy what else surrounds us, and which for us happens to be lush forests and a sweeping highway that passes right through it. So, you know, don't forget to look around. It might just make you smile. <laughs> just fueled up the bikes. Now it's time to fuel us up. Riley got the orange sesame sticky poppy, bun. Poppy seed, poppy seed. Oh, orange poppy seed? Yeah. What did I say? Sesame seed. Oh, orange poppy seed, that makes a lot more sense. And I got the peanut butter cream cheese. Now, instead of feeling like summer 2020 is canceled, we're doing our best to travel alone, well, together, and as safely as possible, with as little human interaction as possible, which is not normally the way I like to travel, but out here, we are absolutely accomplishing our mission. And honestly, riding a motorcycle is my happy place. And I think, I think it shows. Now, as we stopped to check for directions, we knew we were in the right place because we were met by a very friendly neighbor that gave us a nice warm welcome. Now, he wasn't quite an alpaca, which is what we're looking for, but he's a very good boy. Tonight, we are staying at what is called the cottage, but it's an alpaca farm and uh, we're going to go feed some alpacas. That is all in next week's video. And this is the end of this week's video. If you're new here, my name's Mike, the channel's Downy Live, so make sure to subscribe by clicking on my face. You can watch yesterday's video where I slept in a tree house, like a kid's converted tree house into an air. <clears throat> my voice is getting very high. I don't know where I'm going next, but I know I went there with me. See ya. Can't wait, can't, I can't wait to sleep in a bow. There you go. <laughs> can't wait to be rocked to sleep. <laughs> 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 <laughs>